Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we show ins and outs of material customization for simulation. Choose Apply Edit Material by right clicking on a component or body in the simulation tree. Notice the columns with property values have a gray colored background. This means you cannot edit an existing material, but you can copy and paste an existing material, then edit the copy. Here's how. There should be a blue colored custom materials folder in the library. Make a new library by choosing that option when you right mouse click on the custom materials folder. The software will prompt for a name. Make sure to take notice of the path to this file if you want to share it on a network drive. Enter a name for the library and click save. Now right mouse button on the new library and create a new category. Create a category name. Then scroll to an existing material and choose copy. Scroll to your new category folder and choose paste. Now you can change the name of the material and the values for the properties. Make sure to click the Apply button and Close. The new material will show on the component icon. You can optionally locate your custom library onto a network drive. Then, add the network location to your SolidWorks software so it can find it. The path to the file can be added in Tools, Options, System Options, File Locations, Show Folders for, Material Databases. In this video, we showed how to create a custom material for use in simulation.